I hope you all are doing great in your life. So this is the day two of Python for data science and it's a Python crash course part one. And I'm just going to be teaching you today data types, variable assignments, string, list and indexing in Python. So we are just going to be practicing it in, on the Jupyter Notebook. And if you have not downloaded the Jupyter Notebook, just go and download. And if you don't know the steps to download it, I have created a video on same. And it's my latest video. You can check that out and do the Jupyter installation. And we are just going to practice in uh, this particular series. We are not going to learn a lot of theory because let me be very honest. We learn a lot of theory, but we don't actually practice on the things. And that's why we lack uh, a lot and we don't actually work on the things that are required. So I'm going a very straightforward over here. And we are just working on the practical approach of learning Python rather than learning so much of theory. So yeah, let's jump into it and uh, open your Jupyter Notebook and create a folder. So I just assume that you have downloaded the Jupyter Notebook and we are just going to create a new folder over here in Python 3. And we would be naming this folder as python crash course and part one let's rename it okay this is not keep this as so here we are in the jupyter notebook and uh, let's know the number types in python so if we keep one this would be the integer and let's run it it gives out one and let's do 1.0 so it, it is a floating point number and it gives out this 1.0 and let's check the addition operator in python so one plus two gives us the result of three let's do the subtraction three minus two and which gives us the one three asterisk two gives us the result of six and here multiplication uh, operators also works and let's divide 4 by 2 results as the 2.0 so which is a floating point number and we haven't used a floating point number but it, it is resulting it into a floating point number so okay and uh, what if we have to do the power uh, of any number for example we want 2 to the power 4 so we would uh, apply 2 asterisks and here we would mention 2 to the power 4 and which results in 16 and if we want to do the 4 to the power 5, it will give us the 1024. And yes, so this operator works in the Python. Next thing, uh, we would be working on the modulus operator, the mod operator. And let's divide 5 by remainder by 2. So what uh, modulus operator does is it provide the remains of it. So why 5 divided by 2 remains what? Uh, please comment down. So yes, it remains as one so we have one here what if we use four div uh, remainder two and it gives us zero the, uh, you also know that once we divide uh, four by two it provides us the remainder zero next up uh, we will be moving towards the variable assignment and this is how we provide comment in the python so we use hashtag over it and this would not run this is just a comment in python okay so we provide comment so that any other person who reads uh, this particular file is able to grab what is actually happening over here. So let's name it as variable assignments. Uh, let's keep x is equals to 1 and y is equals to 2. Okay, let's run and let's uh, apply z is equals to x plus y. Okay, let's run it. And let's find out what j is, z is equal. So let's find out z is equal to 3, z is x plus y, which is 1 plus 2, and results out to be 3. What if we just x is equal to x plus x? Okay, what it will result? Please come uh, write down in the comment section below. I would highly appreciate. And let's find out what it results. It results to not 1. The value of x is assigned to 2 because we have added x plus x. So the value of the assign, uh, whatever uh, assigned value gets changes when we change the value of it. Okay. Let's uh, put a comment over here. Strings. Okay. Uh, putting an inverted comma uh, and writing here hello and we'll find out what comes. So here I'm seeing hello, but it's in the single quoted comma. 
right single quote so what if we don't want this single quote over here so i'll write print print in the single quote hello okay here we are not saying any sing, uh, quoted comma right next uh, what if we uh, want to print something like i can't do right let's see what happens because here we see an inverted comma what it will result in i can or i can't do okay so seems like it, uh, it nullifies the effect when it is in the uh, double quote why what if we just uh, keep this thing entire thing in the single quoted will it really work even uh, though you have the answer right here the i can thing is in the inverted comma and it's black so we are so uh, we are aware that this is going to uh, give us the wrong uh, error so we don't need to do things like that we uh, once we are using the single quote inside it so what we could do is use the double quote outside so that we could retain this single quote inside it okay so let's just move to indexing in python okay now let's assign a variable like this a b c d e f g h i j okay and run it what if we want this a to be printed let's just use the index and it is a square braces which we are going to mention over here and yeah i'm going to be uh, adding this zero over here why because it starts from zero one two we are giving the position to these particular letters so this has the position of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so let's see what is at the zero 0th position it's a and what if we just provide this okay what if we just mention 0 colon and 3 so it would start from 0 0 which is in a is included it will include b it would okay it would include b it would include c 0 1 2 but d is not included make sure this letter at the end this num numeral at the end does not include the value coming so what the answer would be is a b c it does not include d okay we are getting a b c over here okay next is what if we just don't write anything and put a colon over here so it would give us the entire value of this particular string let's just run it okay we are getting the entire value next if we just start from nothing and end at 5 so it would end at 5 but it would not include 5 and it would start from 0 okay a b c d e fifth is not included next is what if we just start from 3 and we just don't write anything at the end so what it would do is it would start from 3 including 3 make sure you remember this thing it includes 3 but it just ends uh, to the last number okay so this is what we get so there is one more function that we could also check out here let's uh, let's do variable assignment for example I am keeping s is equals to somya next thing and um is equals to 29 okay let's do this variable assignment over here and i'm keeping it a single quote my i am curly braces and my role number is curly braces and we will be using format operator here format okay and in the brackets we would add these value so i'm mentioning s here comma and um so let's find out what it gives so it is giving me i am so my rule number is 29 so this is the format function of python and yeah let's move to list and we will mention the comment over here lists okay and we know that comments don't run so we always keep the comments for our for our use and if even if someone else's uses 
we it would be beneficial for them and one more thing if we are uh, uh, assigning this name of the variable we have to make sure that we don't put one num this is not a, a right assignment of any kind of variable you would get error you will also not be able to use the any special character like percent or dollar sign over here dollar sign so it doesn't work for them as well if we run it no it's not going to work we always make sure that any uh, variable that we are using it starts from small letters for example and if we want to uh, place a num one it would work and what about if we want a variable that has a long name for example name of my cat so i would write like this okay i have no cat but i would like uh, write like this so yeah next uh, don't uh, always put underscore if you have a longer uh, this variable name okay for now we would get rid of this and keep a variable like this and we always mention the list into the square braces okay let's do 1 comma 2 comma 3 and run it we would get the uh, result if we try to no s okay it giving me the output of it mm -hmm. next thing that i'm gonna do here is a nested list okay let's keep it nest and put the square braces over here and 1 comma 2 sorry 1 comma 3 comma 4 and let's do another list inside of it okay so 4 comma 5 and run it it is okay it's not giving us any kind of error what if we want these 4 5 out of nest so we would mention nest and square braces and we know the indexing 0 1 2 and this position is 3 right so we would mention 3 okay let's run it so it's giving us the what is in the nest of it okay what if we make it a little bit more uh, difficult let's mention j is equals to 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 comma 5 okay and inside of uh, it uh, 2 comma 6 okay and inside of it another uh, braces let's put a comma over here and another it uh, let's mention Soumya and what it we want is we want this Soumya out of it okay we want to print this Soumya what we are going to do let's run it okay this has given us the error because of we have not used comma over here so yeah let's use this comma and we are good with this and let's use this J and we want this Soumya out of it and we would use j comma this is 0 1 2 and this is 3 right so we would first mention 3 and inside 3 let's mention 0 1 2 this is the second that we are going to use over here okay let's run it okay we got somewhere so now we know that this is how the nested uh, list works Hope you have found this uh, video useful. If you want this particular notebook, I'll be sharing it with you in the uh, description box below. And yeah, stay tuned and we have a lot of videos coming on Python. Hope you make good use of it. So bye bye for now. We will meet you next time. And yeah, thank you for watching.